the floor has been in here for about three days and so it's time to put it in so we're going to take the furniture out whatever furniture isn't tucked down is going to get out of the bus and we'll take the boards back out and then we'll do some underlayment and then we'll get to flooring so big day all emptied out ready to vacuum and get the underlayment in Whew, it's gonna be a long day okay the underlayment is done that looks much more like a finished floor to begin with although we're just sort of patching it around here and there but I can really feel how much quieter it is in here with the underlayment down so that's nice we're gonna go to lunch and then we'll come back and do some flooring it's about 90 degrees out and very humid and we're moving much more slowly than we hoped we would so what we thought was going to be about a one day job is looking like it's going to take at least two and i don't know if i've got another day this week to devote to it but we'll see anyway where it's working it looks kind of pretty not perfect of course because it's us but pretty so the floor is pretty much done here in the bedroom and the hallway and there are gaps it'll need trim it's of course not perfect but it's kind of a pretty little floor we decided to change the orientation back here in the bedroom just because otherwise it was going to be a lot of tiny little boards and so we've got it going one way in the bedroom and then it moves to go that you know longitudinally to the bus in the hallway and then i think it's going to also be that way in the living room where it's still a big mess because we had to bring all the boards back into the bus i have this really temperamental table saw sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so i came out today to hopefully finish the floor and Today is not a good day for table saws. So here we go. We're jigsawing all the way. So I'm using a floor that just clicks together, but this is a mobile vehicle. So I'm actually putting a few screws in every board. I haven't screwed all the boards down and there are some areas where I still need to pound it a little bit to get it closer. And obviously it needs trim. And there are a few little areas where it needs a little bit of this and that. But we have a floor. And I think it looks nice. I think it ties the place together. As always, this area at the top of the bus is the most challenging. I have to be able to access this panel uh, up here. And so I've been having to carve off some of the insulation and a little bit of the board and then sort of try to work around it but that's going to be that's going to be a challenge so here we go okay that works and i should be able to still get that piece out there's another piece right over here that needs to also come out that goes to the gas tank and it's looking pretty good there are some bits and bobs that need doing some extra stuff but i think the floor is looking pretty good like obviously right here needs a little bit of extra and under the fridge and in front of the stove so the little bits of stuff around the edge needs to be fixed but the center is done we'll put linoleum around the driver's seat and I think the floor is looking pretty good. I'm going to stop there for this week because I have a whole bunch of people coming next week and I just really wanted to get to, to a place where they could walk on the floor. So although it's not perfect, it's certainly walkable, danceable. And although it's got screws, I mean, it definitely has screws in it, but I think that's okay because I think, who knows, we might need to take it up sometime and Besides, it's just nice to have it really solid under my feet. So 
Here we go. We have a floor.